So hey, this is Greg Hawks. Welcome to the, another Source in Inner Life. Uh, I am looking at TikTok right now, the desktop version, and I've noticed that there's not any, any, I hey, don't, don't stop talking, stop talking. Talk, he's, he's somebody that I follow, but what I've noticed is that there's really no, no recipe for scraping comments or anything on, on TikTok, which is surprising, but not terribly surprising. So let me see if I can create a recipe real quick. Hopefully you can see, hopefully my big head's not in the way. Um, let's see, okay. So, um, so let me just start over, okay. So basically what I'm gonna do is I wanna build a recipe, right click, go to data miner, start data miner. And then I have this other window pop up <clears throat> in another screen. Page scrape usually has me, it asks me if I want a, a, a page scrape or a, a list or profile. So I always pick the first one because I'm, I'm pulling through a list of profiles right now. Okay. So let's see, I want to, well, there's the, like, this, this is an example. There's, there's not any recipes for this. There's not any recipes at all. So I want to do a new recipe, new recipe. And I want to put this over here. Hopefully you guys can see. Yeah, you guys can see. Adjust that a little bit. Okay. And what I'm going to do is the type is list search page. Again, list search page because I'm pulling in multiple rows. Okay. Now in the row section, what you're doing is you're identifying the rows that you're going to be pulling the columns from. So, you know, so like each, each line is going to be in, in the rows column. So I go to easy row finder and this makes it really easy. You just look through, come on, I wanna highlight, I wanna highlight one row. That is a pop-up, it may not work. Let me just do this. So it looks like it's pointing. No, I wanna pull in just a single, single, let me see if that'll work. Okay, yeah, that worked. So I had to pull in the, the picture because it was pulling in too much stuff. Okay. Add column. So next, next thing is we're gonna be adding the columns. So easy column finder. We want, I want text. We're gonna put C. Great, that's what I want. Okay, and it pulls the it pulls all the the original screen names in here. Okay. So we're gonna do screen name because sometimes like this person that's her full name that's somebody's screen name. Okay, so I'm gonna do that, and you can see in this case. Yeah, I mean it doesn't have all the users, doesn't have all the information, but I've got. I've got a screen name here and I got a, a, a full name of somebody else. Uh, and column, let's do a URL because I want to see if I can, I can pull in a TikTok. Oh, and look at that. That's great. That's exactly what I want. Okay, so it pulls in the, the TikTok URL and easy column finder. Let's do text. Let me just pull in the comment. So we can do that. And I forgot to name this one. So if you want to go in and edit, click this little, this little pencil button and I'm naming my column. What am I naming my column? This is the URL. Okay, add new column because I also want to get his responses just in case somebody responds. And I guess you could probably build this pretty deep. I mean, you could go very, you could go several, several comment layers deep if you wanted to. So, 
spider. Okay. And add new column. What are we doing here? I also want his URL just in case. Boom. And like, even if, even if this isn't the exact direct link to, to his TikTok, you could take off this type of stuff, this question mark lang, uh, uh, equal sign English. That, that's just some syntax that you can take off if you need to, to Excel. I've done that before. It's more about organizing data. Retire URL. Um, add new column. Let's get what he says. And I can also pull in how long, like how recent the replies are too, but I'm not going to do that today. So we've got And I just want to add one more thing because he's a creator. Text, C, confirm. Okay, now let's see if this works. We're gonna save this as TikTok comments. Actually, I should put my name on it. Okay, save. See if this works, scrape it. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it works. And I have their TikTok IDs. I have his TikTok IDs. I've got their TikTok IDs. I've got their comments so I can get some sort of some sort of information about it. Um, let me see if I can go into another TikTok video and see. Let me turn my volume down. Yeah, this is a data guy. Let's see. Wow, he's got a lot, he's got a lot. SQL, yes, SQL. Pause you. And, okay, so as you can see, there are lots of people here. Well, actually not too many comments. But, let me see. My recipes, select the script. Now, <clears throat> I just added 60 something rows. And okay, yeah, this might be viable. We might be able to do something with this. I might need to dig around a little bit more, but I mean, that's, those are leads right there. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely gonna be pursuing this, see what we can do more with TikTok as I'm kind of exploring because there's no OSINT tools to really search this. So I'm trying to navigate a way to find, find a way to, to do this in a viable manner. So more to come on that, but I mean, uh, that's pretty cool that I can go into a TikTok video and pull out commenters and things like that and get some information on people because I mean, that's, I mean, obviously we have to do some research and stuff like that, but yeah, I, I'm liking this. Uh, more to come on this. Thanks for thanks for tuning in. Please share and subscribe.